Hello friends, this video on structure of atoms part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. We have to find the number of electrons in 1 mole of methane. 1 molecule of methane is how much? I will show you. 1 molecule, I have to find number of electrons. So 1 molecule of methane if you take first, has how many electrons? Methane is CH4. So carbon will have 6 electrons, 1 carbon plus hydrogen is 4, correct? 1 hydrogen has 1 electron, therefore hydrogen electrons. So 1 mole of methane has 10 electrons. I have to say 1 mole of methane, sorry 1 molecule of methane has 10 electrons. I know 1 mole of methane is nothing but 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of methane. I hope you understand this. And these many molecules of methane means nothing but 6.0 the same molecules into one molecule is how many? 10 electrons. So these many electrons. And that is my answer. So if you solve this, this becomes 6.023 into 10 to the power 24 electrons. Hope you understand this. See, one mole of methane, one molecule of methane has 10 electrons and one mole of methane has these many molecules of methane. I have to find the number of electrons in one mole of methane. So, one mole of methane is equal to this many molecules of methane and one molecule of methane is 10 electrons. So, these many molecules of methane means these many molecules into 10 electrons. Find total number and total mass of neutrons in 7 gram of carbon, carbon 40. And you assume that the mass of neutron is. So please note here we are looking only for neutron. Neutron is our hero, correct? And we have to find the number and mass of neutron in 7 milligram of carbon. First let's see one atom of carbon has how many? neutron has how many ne neutrons so if you see this guy has this is six so this guy has how many neutrons neutrons is nothing but my atomic mass minus atomic number that is 14 minus 6 that is 8 neutrons hope you understand so one atom of carbon 14 has 8 neutrons now I talk in grams how to get in grams I know that one mole of carbon 14 is nothing but 14 grams of carbon 14. So with this I can get something in grams and one mole of carbon 14 is nothing but 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of carbon 14. And one molecule or one atom of sorry, yeah, or atom I'll say atom of carbon. Correct. And one atom of carbon has how many neutrons? Eight neutrons. That means my 14 grams of carbon will have 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 into 8 neutrons. Correct? Because this has this many atoms of carbon and one atom of carbon has 8 neutrons, this many neutrons has we have in 14 grams of carbon 14, right? But we are looking for 7 milligrams. So this is 14 grams. So 7 milligrams of carbon 14 will have how much? This is gram, this is milligram. So let's convert this into milligrams. So this becomes 14,000 milligram. So 14,000 milligram has this many neutrons, 7 milligram will have how many neutrons? Very simple math, we'll do this, 10 to the power 23 into 8, divide this by 14,000 and multiply by 7, correct? And if you solve this, you'll get answer as 2.4, so you know 9 to 8 to 10 to the power 21 neutrons. So the number of neutrons we have is almost 2.4 into 10 to the power 20. For 7 milligram of carbon 14. Correct? Easy only. See, 
The logic is you first find how many in one atom how many neutrons we have. Since we are talking about milligrams, we know the relation between grams and moles. We know one mole has how many atoms, and with that you can find the value. The second part is you define total mass, total mass. So total mass is now simple. Is number of neutrons we have into mass of neutron, mass of neutron. So number of neutron what we have is this much, two point four into ten to the power twenty one, and mass of neutron is given, this guy, one point six seven five into ten to the power minus twenty seven kg. So you multiply both and you get something as four point zero three into ten to the power minus six kg, and that is my answer. Let's take one example. So we have to find total number and total mass of protons. Please note here the hero is proton for 34 milligram of ammonia at standard temperature. The question is, will the value change if you change temperature and pressure? Similar question. Instead of neutron, we have proton here and we have ammonia. Same thing we'll do here. So one molecule first we'll find one molecule or of ammonia where I wrote. Molecule because it's ammonia. Ammonia is a molecule actually, not an atom. Has nothing but nitrogen will have uh, seven proton plus hydrogen will have one each one to three ten protons. So one molecule of ammonia has ten protons. Same formula we have one mole of ammonia is equal to seventeen grams of ammonia, right? Is equal to six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three molecules of ammonia. So why I wrote molecules because it is N S three, N S three. So this is molecules. Now I am asked thirty four milligram, seventeen gram is this many molecules, and these many molecules has these many molecules into ten protons. Six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three into ten protons here. Right, I am looking for protons. And that is 17 grams, so I'll write 17,000 milligrams of NS3. I'm looking for 34 milligrams, right? So my 34 milligrams of NS3 will have these many protons divided by 17,000 into 34. So what you get is 1.2046 into 10 to the power 22. Protons. So these are the number of protons I have. Finding mass of proton is very simple. Same thing. Mass of proton. Total protons is nothing but mass of total proton. Mass of one proton into number of protons. So what is mass of one proton? It was given in the last question also. That is one point six seven four nine three into twenty four minus twenty seven kg, and number of protons we have is this guy one point two zero four six into twenty four twenty two. So you multiply this, you get two point zero one seven six into twenty four minus five kg. Now the question is, will the value change if you change temperature and pressure? No. Why? Because it doesn't matter which temperature you're looking for. The number of protons is same, and the mass of proton is same. The number of protons is same, the mass of proton is same. Doesn't matter which temperature and pressure we are looking for. The answer will be same. How many neutrons, protons are there in this nuclei? Carbon, if you see, six, thirteen. So if you see neutrons and proton, I have to find. So proton is nothing but my atomic number. So my proton here will be six. And neutron is nothing but my atomic mass minus atomic number. That is thirty minus six. That is seven. Let's take this guy, oxygen, sixteen eight. Here also my proton will be this guy, eight, and my neutron will be sixteen minus eight. Similarly here, manganese. I have twelve and twenty four. My proton will be atomic number twelve, and my Neutron will be twenty-four minus twelve. 
correct proton means property power and atomic number decides proton decides probability correct it's like one last example of atomic number atomic mass so you define the complete symbol for this uh, atoms with atomic number atomic mass given so atomic number is 17 that means it is chlorine and you have 35 first part is 92 that is this guy and 233 is given. 4 4 is beryllium atomic mass is like that is mass it is simple this question is just about asking you whether you know that 17 atomic number means chlorine and 4 atomic number is beryllium. That's all. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.